It's the second intermission. I'm watching Stan Smeal and Joey Kenward on my screen. There's an interview going on. I have it muted. We are dominating this game, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. My voice cracked. That's not good, but... Oh, my gosh. The first period, we had power plays that didn't really result in anything. We had an early goal, a tip-in from Adam Gaudet, and I was like, yo, great start, guys. This is awesome. Our lineup is awesome. I was thinking we're probably going to win this game, but it's probably going to be tight because we know that a lot of these Canucks rookies and prospects have to settle in back into the hockey playing mindset, right? But no. Things on the power play are a little bit wonky to start off in the first period. I'll admit that. I don't think that Breeze Bois was good in the power play. He was in a lot of positions where he just shouldn't have been, and a lot of passes escaped him because he was the man on the point, and they were just going off of the boards, and he'd be, like, right in the middle. He'd miss the puck all the time. I don't think Breezeball was good in the power play. I don't think Levy was good in the power play. My goodness. That first period performance on the power play by Levy, he was not hustling out there. This, like, back-checking towards getting the puck in his own zone, I didn't see any drive. It was so embarrassing for me to watch, honestly, but I digress. The whole team basically redeemed themselves going into the second period, and I harped on Breeze Bois in the power play. I'm not going to sit here and say that that was the entire case. I think that even from the beginning of the game, Breeze Bois had a fantastic start, and he had a really good defensive mindset in his own end, made the safe play, great defensive poise. There would be guys cramming themselves all over on top of him and to this side, but he'd still stay with the puck, calmly move it up forward, make the smart play every single time. I really liked Guillaume Breeze Bois' game in the first two periods. That being said, though, I didn't like him on the power play. But, the first period aside though, okay, I'm going back to the tab, yeah, it's still Stan Smeal and Kenward talking on this intermission, so I got time. That second period though, my goodness! Bro! Bro! Things start out with a Jonah Gadjevich tip-in as well, he gets a tip-in, and everybody's freaking out, like, yes, he did it! That tip was amazing, like, it was going so far out and he tipped it in towards the center of the net, Fantastic hand-eye coordination from Jonah Gadjevich. And then, just, like, later in the same minute or whatever, the next two, three minutes, ah, uh, Petrus Palmu, he gets himself his first two, an absolute fire hydrant of a goal. Palmu on the side of the net is able to tap it in by the goalie who's down and out. Absolutely just pure mockery of the goaltender and his abilities right there. And then later on, like, in the same two or three minute span or whatever, Yonatan Dalian comes in on the breakaway, he deeks the forehand, teases the backhand, and goes into the five hole. I screamed. I screamed. Jonathan Dalian with the five, no, I'm sorry, the four nothing goal. And that one was assisted by Elias Pedersen. He passed it up to Dalian, it's a breakaway. You know the story, it goes like that. And then later on in the period, like, the next two minutes or something, some guy at the point, I think it was McFadden or something like that, I don't remember who, he just, like, wrists it on that from the blue line, and it goes in. I think they gave the goal to Palmu, I believe. So, Palmu's with two at this point. Uh, I'm going back to the game right now. They're showcasing a uh, Petrus Palmu and uh, Jonah Gadjevich axe-throwing contest, which I don't really care about, because I already saw that on the Canucks YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, going back to the goals, the 6 nothing goal, Elias Pettersson finally, finally gets himself a goal. People were calling Pettersson a bust within the first two minutes of the first period because he was getting shoved off of the puck, guys were stealing it from him, he was trying to go into the offensive zone and he'd get shut down. Oh, EP is a bust in the comments. It was a joke. I... I think. But Pedersen gets a goal, and it was amazing! It was like he walks right in, he just holds onto the puck, and then he waits, waits, patiently waits for the other defender on the Jets to poke his stick in, so Pedersen can pull his stick back in, and just absolutely roof it. Snipes it, and... Dare I say that shot was a better snipe than Brock Besser? Dare I say that? I don't know, a lot of you guys probably would be thinking that too, but... Nobody really wants to diss the Brock star now, don't we? 
But then the seventh goal of the game, Yona Gajovic again! This time, he's getting a feed right in front from number 81. I don't know who that is. I think it was McFadden again? I... no idea. He gets the puck. It's a good one-timer, and I'm freaking out because I'm like, Oh my god, it's a two-on-one. It's a two-on-one. Score! Score! Then the pass goes over. Shot scores! Yes! Boom! I'm reenacting everything. I'm... I'm trying to be excited, which I am, but this excitement that I feel is nothing compared to the excitement that I felt watching these goals live. Tweeting about the stuff, being in the Canucks Twitter group chat, being in the Canucks YouTube comment section in the live stream, absolutely incredible. Everybody's interacting over there. I comment things once in a while. People respond, Lego, what's up? It's all cool seeing all you guys in there. And everybody freaked out. Like, everybody just, all together, we just absolutely lost ourselves when Pedersen sniped it and when all the other goals went in to be honest but now it's 7-1 going into the third period I'm gonna take a break from commentating because you know I kind of want to get some thoughts after the game because the post game does exist this is just a second period sort of analysis of what we've seen so far and I even though DiPietro led in one goal, he's been pretty solid, and I like everything else that's been going on. Yolevi redeemed himself in the power play. There was a moment in the first, I believe, where later in the power play, Yolevi was at the point, and it was later into the stages of this power play that I noticed that Yolevi would only do two things. Either one, he takes a shot on goal, and it gets tipped or rebounded by one of the other Canucks, or he passes it to Pedersen, which, you know, either of those two decisions aren't bad options. And then Yolevi would end up with the puck again, because Gaudette would give it over to him. And then he'd either shoot it again or give it over to Pedersen again. Like, it's great. It works. I'm not gonna fault that. But now the third period is underway, I'm gonna go for a little bit. I'll be back in a second to hit you guys up with the post-game thoughts. So, yeah, we'll see you guys later, I guess. Woo! He did it again! Yes! Yes! Bro, Cole Lind just went in on net, had a few really good chances, Dolan on the rebound, denied by Winnipeg's goaltender. That's crazy. Alright, the game just finished. You guys heard my reactions to Pedersen getting a second of the night, the final Vancouver Canucks goal of the game, and my goodness, the goalie. I forgot his name, it was a mix something. They just said the name, like, 30 seconds ago. How could I forget this? Somebody's remembered it. It's in the comments below, for sure. Winnipeg's goalie, my goodness, the best performance of the night over there in that one segment of play. Of course, the Vancouver Canucks got eight goals, so who am I to talk about the Winnipeg Jets? Spashik for the Jets, by the way, getting the two goals for Winnipeg tonight, but who cares? Eight goals for Vancouver? Two goals for Palmu, Gadjevic, and Pedersen? Then we get ourselves Dolan and Gaudette with the others? The future is here, guys, and it is beautiful. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. There were a lot of moments where I was really impressed with what I saw. I liked Dirk a lot. Yo Levy, he grew on me towards the end of the game. Deking himself through guys and getting good shots on net? My gosh, that was absolutely crazy. And overall, everybody who we expected to show up, showed up. DiPietro, despite allowing two goals, he was great. The first one, it was like, what are you going to do about that? The second goal, he was screened, couldn't really see it. DiPietro was good. Gadjevich, he was good. Cole Lind, he probably should have had one or two goals, to be honest here. Pedersen, A1. Dahlin, my gosh, fantastic performance by Dahlin. Palmu, the fire hydrant of a player, A1 as well, my gosh. And then even the guys who you wouldn't really expect. Chatfield was quiet, in a good way. To the point where you knew he was kind of out there, but you didn't really see him that much, because he didn't make that many mistakes. Other than that one that led to the first goal, but other than that, I think Chatfield was solid. Brisebois, I liked him a lot. And now things are gonna be a little bit different as we go into the next prospect game. I think they're gonna be switching up the lines a little bit. We might get Matthew Thiessen in there. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'm just spitting and this is not going to happen, but my goodness, what a game. 8-2 to two is the final score, and what a game it was. I've never felt so happy this entire year. That might be an overstatement. I don't know, is it? You tell me. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I did. Twitter plus, and you can thank you for all slash sign gaming. And bye. <laughs>